Hi everyone, my name is Alexa and I am the content specialist here at CICB. This past week I had the pleasure of taking the CCO training course that CICB offers and I'm here to tell you all about it. So the course is five days long. I did take the MCOT course prior to this class so I do have some experience with cranes now that I took that course. If you have not taken the course or you've not seen the vlog, then I will link it in the description and you could go ahead and take a look at that vlog first because these classes really do go hand in hand. So the MCOT course is meant for beginners and the CCO course is meant for those that have experience with cranes. And I will say from my experience, if I have never been on a crane before, if I did not take the MCOT course, then I would be completely lost in the CCO course. It does cover very similar material, however, it is extremely fast paced. So this course, like I said, is five days long and on day one I came in and I was given a handbook and a workbook. So the handbook has all of the material, all of the information, and the workbook goes along with the handbook and has some practice tests at the end of each chapter. Like I mentioned before, this course is extremely fast paced. Day one, we went over about two to three days of content from the MCOT course. So it is, again, very similar information. It just really combines them and condenses very quickly. There's a lot more classroom time than there is hands-on time. So you will get hands-on time experience with the cranes. However, you'll get about 45 minutes to an hour a day, if that and you're really just learning the cranes that you'll be using to take the CCO test. So day one, we started with communication signals, which is again, very helpful. You're learning all of the different signals, which will be helpful when you're operating the crane. And then you move on to control and safety systems. And then you finally finish with setup and ground conditions. So in one day, we covered three chapters. So day two, we had quite a few students in the class that were taking the lattice boom test. So we did get some time on the lattice boom crawler crane. I was not taking the test on that. So I just got lots of time to take videos and that was really fun. It is the biggest crane that we have here at CICB. So that was the most crane time that students got all week. It was about an hour and a half we spent on it. And then afterwards we came back inside and we worked on crane operations and then we spent the rest of the day on load charts. Now I will say in the CCO course, you do spend a lot of time on load charts. In the MCOT course, you do spend a little bit of time on load charts. However, it's not nearly as much. We spent about double the time on load charts. So I really did feel like an expert by the end. Coming into day three, speaking of load charts, we began the day with more load chart practice. We spent about two and a half hours, again, just going through load charts, really practicing it. And I just, I felt great by the end. During the MCOT course, I wasn't too confident with load charts, but this really helped me understand. After we finished our practice with load charts, we moved on to wire rope. We did crane inspections. And then we also covered power line safety. So we went through three chapters after the load charts. Day four, practical exam started at the very beginning of the day. When you were ready to take your practical exam, you would tell Kenny that you were ready to go. And then the rest of the class was sitting inside, again, working on load charts in the classroom. And then we finished the day with rigging and that was it. So we also did a practice exam that was uh, 155 questions. The actual exam is 90 questions. So you do get a lot more questions to review and hopefully help you with the exam. I found the practice exam very helpful just to see what I needed to study and what I knew. Day five was the written exam. So you come in, you take the exam and then afterwards you leave. I will say that I've taken state administered exams before. I was actually a teacher prior to working here at CICB, so it felt very similar to the format that I had when I took my teaching exam. So you come in, you are provided with a packet, you have to bring your driver's license. You cannot bring anything else inside of the room. No snacks, no water bottles, pencils are provided. So everything that you will need other than your driver's license is in the classroom. So again, the day of your written exam, please just bring your driver's license in and leave everything else in your car or somewhere else. So the exam, you're provided a packet. You could write in the packet. You could make markings, take notes, whatever you need. And then the actual answers will be on a Scantron sheet. So if you took the SATs in high school or any sort of standardized test, you will feel the same way when you are taking this written exam. But once you are all done with the exam, then you will go ahead and leave the classroom and then you are all done. And then you will get your results in about three weeks. 
So all in all, I'm very happy that I had the experience to take these courses at CICB. It helped me really understand all about cranes. Again, this course, the CCO course is very fast paced. So if you do not have experience with cranes, please take the MCOT course prior. If you actually bundle them together, you could take the MCOT course one week and then the CCO course the next week. So that way you're spending 10 days in the classroom, but you will be absolutely prepared, ready to go for that CCO exam. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please drop them in the comment box and then make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos. I hope you all have a great day and thank you for watching.